Well, good morning and welcome to the Thursday Three. You guys, there's no getting around it. It's the fall. We're here. And many of you know that way too well. You've been involved in the back to school extravaganza and we want to pray for you guys, especially today. For many of us, this is really more the beginning of the year. This, this time of fall feels more like the start of the new year than even uh, you know after Christmas does. And so what I wanted to do as we begin this new year together, is to go back to the basics. There are so many aspects to Christianity. There's your morality, there's theology, there's philosophy. How should I spend my money? How should I spend my time? Uh, am I doing this thing right? Well, listen to the theme that runs through the Old Testament, the New Testament, over and over again, this basic truth. In Romans 5.16, Thinking about what Jesus did for us on the cross, Paul says, The free gift, which came from many offenses, resulted in justification. In Isaiah 43, 25, God says, I will not remember your sins. In Isaiah 44, 22, God says, Return to me, for I have redeemed you. In 1 Corinthians 6, 11, it says, You were washed, sanctified, justified in the name of the Lord Jesus and by the Spirit of our God. And Romans chapter 5, verse 15 says, The free gift, the gift by the grace of the one man, Jesus Christ. Listen again to these words of Scripture. The free gift, which came from many offenses, resulted in justification. I will not remember your sins. Return to me, for I have redeemed you. You were washed, sanctified, justified, in the name of the Lord Jesus and by the Spirit of our God, the free gift, the gift by the grace of the one man, Jesus Christ. The phrase that really stuck out there to me was free gift. This is what we can't let go of. This is what makes Christianity different than religions. This is what makes it different than self-help, uh, fix yourself up, pull yourself up by your own bootstraps, approaches to life. No, Christianity is like an unexpected Christmas present put in my lap by my loving Heavenly Father. It's all gift. Can I really accept that? His grace, His mercy, His forgiveness, His acceptance, my welcome into the household, my adoption into the family, my right standing with God, my clean slate where I can begin again this day, all of that is a free gift given because He loves me, because He loves you because He knows you by name, because He has a calling on your life. This morning, and for the rest of this day, let's just meditate on this one idea. It's all a free gift from the God who loves me. Let's pray. Father God, I thank You for the fall. I thank You for a time of new beginnings. Lord, we pray especially for those who've been hustling and bustling, uh, trying to get their kids to school and all the meetings and details of this time. Lord, help them rest in you and let them be excited about new possibilities. And God, I ask that for all of us. And as we go out into this new day, would you remind us throughout this day 
that the gospel is all about this free gift you've given us. Help us to praise you for your goodness and your patience and your grace. I ask all these things in Jesus' name. Amen. Well, friends, I want to thank you for joining us. And listen, if you live in the Philadelphia area, this Sunday we are beginning our new worship format at Leverington Church. And this includes this beautiful, immersive experience of stations. Uh, I hope you can join us for it. And if you're interested in finding out more about church with us, either in person or online, just go to leverington.org. For now, I hope you have a great day. The Lord be with you. I'll see you next time.